The Delcross Electromagnetic Interference Toolkit, or EMIT, is a commercial software package for predicting electromagnetic interference in complex RF environments containing multiple transmitters and receivers. EMIT predicts in-band and out-of-band interference effects for all transmitter-receiver combinations in the scene, including amplifier and mixer intermodulation products. EMIT starts with your platform using models for onboard radios, antennas, and other RF system chain components. A CAD model of your platform is helpful for locating antenna placements, but not necessary. It uses parametric models or measurements for the wideband spectral behavior of your transmitters. Receiver vulnerability, both in-band and out-of-band, are also applied in the form of parametric models or measurements for each receiver on the platform. And if you don't have a model for your radio, don't worry. We provide generic parametric transmitter, receiver, and transceiver models, as well as an EMIT RF systems library containing nearly 50 standard radio models. Antenna-to-antenna -antenna coupling effects are also included. This data may come from EMIT's internal coupling approximation models, from EM simulations, or from antenna coupling measurements. Finally, Outboard components such as filters, cables, and even nonlinear amplifiers may be included. Amplifier models can introduce intermodulation products that must be considered in any cosite analysis. Any of these system components may start with simple parametric models and later be refined at any time with data of higher fidelity. Because of EMIT's multi-fidelity data approach, RF cosite EMI analysis can start with the beginning of your vehicle or platform development cycle before specific radios or components have been selected or measured. EMIT simulates EMI margins at the input of each receiver in the system. System noise and aggressor transmit signals are compared to the receiver susceptibility in order to determine EMI margins as peak in-band, noise in-band, total in-band, and point margins for fixed channel systems. EMIT also simulates frequency hopping systems to report the availability percentage of channels through a Monte Carlo analysis. In EMIT, complex scenarios are broken down into a series of single channel in-on-one scenarios. The contribution to the received signal from each transmitter, shown by the red arrows, consists of direct one-on-one -on -one contribution along with any distortion introduced by the amplifiers in the chain. In addition, EMIT considers the contribution of intertransmitter intermod products that arise from transmitter-to-transmitter -transmitter coupling and re-radiation. This process results in a great deal of spectrally interesting behavior. Intermod products can be multiplied in both transmitter and receiver amplifiers as well as in the receiver mixers. EMIT locates worst case margins, taking all of these intermods into consideration. After an analysis, EMIT shows a system summary window, which is a matrix of the receive and transmit systems on the platform. Any EMI margin violation shows up as a red square. Combinations that pass EMI margins show up as a green square. This matrix shows the one-on-one -on -one performance summaries. Usually, this is the first step for examining and sorting out individual system-on-system -system EMI cosite issues. When an N-on-1 -on analysis mode is chosen, the system summary matrix is augmented to show the results of all transmitters against each receiver. From any red EMI violation square in the system summary, we can examine root causes for the violation, examine the channel-to-channel -channel EMI performance metrics, and begin the process of developing a mitigation scheme. The multi-level results viewer lets us drill all the way down to the offending channels to determine whether violations are due to in-band signal or in-band noise. Thank you for viewing this Delcross Technologies presentation. For more information, feel free to visit us on the site at www.delcross.com. For North American sales and support, contact Delcross Technologies or our agent, CST of America Incorporated. And outside North America, please contact CST AG.